Hello, I'm Teacher Dennis and welcome once again to another episode ng Dengs TV. On this episode, I'll be discussing some uh, college entrance test examination questions, particularly UPCAT. So, nakuha ko to sa UPCATreview.com, UPCAT Reviewer. Okay, so makikita nyo naman yung link dito. Uh, they are distributing this free. Okay, so pwede nyo tong i-check. So, on this video, I'll be, uh, it, it will be three parts, okay? So, the first part, of course, this is the introduction. The second part will be, I'll be smartly guessing the three questions. And then, on the third part, i-discuss ko sa inyo siya ng isa-isa. Okay? So, are you ready? So, I'll be showing you the question now. Okay, so we have fraction on the first part, okay? So, for our guess, okay? So, my guess for this particular uh, question, so... 15 and 1 third minus 5 and 1 half is supposedly ito dapat. Okay? And then number 2. Okay. 16 over 5, hmm, let's guess it must be somewhere here. Okay? And for number 3, my guess would be uh, this one. Okay. So, baka, baka sabihin nyo naman dinadayo ko kaya na... Uh, Ang dali mo naman, sir, na guess yun. Kasi siguro nag-prepare ka. Pero I will tell you yung explanation for that. Okay, so here. You know that 3 and 2 for LCD only makes 6. So it's smart to guess this part. Okay? We will be discussing that later on. Kung tama ba yung sagot natin. Number 2. Okay. 16 over 5. If I think... Of a frac. Uh, ano nga pang ibig sabihin ng percent? Okay? Percent means percentum. Okay? Per 100. So, whatever uh, value you have on top. So, whatever is nu your numerator, divided by, by siya dapat lagi ng 100. So, what could you multiply to 5 in order for you to get 100? So, all you need to do is to multiply uh, the denominator by 20 and the denominator by, uh, and the numerator by 20 also. Para re-rename mo lang yung fraction. So, let's just have a wild guess kasi mahirap or matagal kung gagawin mo yung 16 times 20. So, let's just have like 15 times 20. Twice of 15, it's going to be 30. And then, add more 0, it will be around 300. So, it, you know, na 320 yung pinaka malapit sa ating sagot. Okay? So, 16 over 5 would be around 300%. So, 320%. So, it makes sense, right? And then next would be yung 5.75. Uh, you know na 75. Okay, so by experience, you know na 75 is just 3 fourths. Okay, and the only fraction na merong fourths at the end ay yung letter C. Okay, so now on this third part, let's try to really answer it. So, kung pabibo ka talaga, okay, so guys, okay, so just a gentle reminder, you, we all know na. All of these numbers are designed uh, to, to be answered in 1 to 2 minutes only. So, beyond that, you should not spend so much time in answering. It's either uh, you skip it or hulaan nyo na lang. And kasi kapag, kapag uh, you spend more time on that one particular number, sabi, ano nga ba to? Ano nga ba to? And then yun, you got overwhelmed. Mauubusan ka ng time for other numbers. Remember na hindi lamang yun yung dapat mong sagutan. Okay? So, like, for example, if you have 30 items, sometimes it is designed to be answered for 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Okay? So, I'm not very sure about uh, the time now kasi uh, ang tagal ka na rin hindi nag -upcut. Pero, my, uh, my bottom line is answer as fast as you can. Okay? So, on this third part, I'll be answering it properly. Okay? So, if you are not good in fraction, I'll be giving you tips later. Pero, if you are good naman in fraction, uh, you can have this, okay? So, for number one, let's try to make everything. So, how about let's use uh, a different color, maybe green, okay? Para hindi naman madugo ang ating ano. Let's convert everything into improper fraction. So, 15 times 3 is 45. 45 plus 1. I'm talking about this. 15 times 3, tapos i-add mo ng 1. Okay, so hopefully, naalala pa yan. So, it will be uh, 46 over 3. Okay? And then, minus. So, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11 over 2. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Medyo matagal to. Kasi, uh, kailangan mo siyang i-convert into 
uh, same LCD, which is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So all you need to do is to multiply uh, 46 by 2. So it's 92. Okay. Minus 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then you multiply 3 by 11. So kung mapapansin nyo, I usually write, kasi if I tend to just uh, leave it inside my head, sometimes you get overwhelmed, mas malaki yung chance na magkamali. Okay, so, but by writing down, you're guiding your eyes to really uh, answer them. Okay, so 92 minus 33, so it's around 60 plus, so 50. Okay, so 50, uh, what is it? Okay, so mahina ako sa <laughs> numbers. Okay, so 9 minus 90 minus 30, you know that it is 60. So it will be like 12 minus 3. So it is 50, 59, right? Correct, 59. So 59 over 6. And we all know that if we convert this into proper, uh, we, na, we know na merong sham. There are 9, 6 on 59. Okay, so you can write 9 here. Tapos, you know na by multiplying 9 and 6, you will get 54. Okay? So, try to practice your multiplication because it will really help uh, kapag mastering your multiplication table. Okay? So, it's 54. So, 55, 59 minus 54 would be uh, 5, 6. Okay? So, tama tayo. So, there. Okay? So, tama tayo na letter C. Kung hindi naman, you can... Uh, kung hindi naman kayo ganun kagaling sa uh, number, katulad ko, hindi rin kayo magaling sa fraction, you can use this uh, way, okay? So, 15, ah, okay, so let's check. 15 and 5, we all know na it's okay. It's okay to uh, subtract. May, may makong kayo sagot. However, here, so hopefully, you would know na one-third is smaller than one-half. And you will uh, gain... Uh, a negative value if you do that. So, kailangan mong manghiram sa 15. So, your fraction will be, uh, manghihiram ka ng one whole, okay? So, it will be 14 kapag nanghiram ka. 14. So, plus. Tapos, yung one whole na yun, isulat natin na 3 over 3. Okay? Tapos, ito yung one third na natitira. So, basically, ito lang yung 15 na sinasabi ko, okay? So, 15 and one third. Right? So, I just rename the fraction into this one. 15 and 1 third. Pero, uh, ginagawa lang natin to para ma-emphasize ko yung fractional part. Kasi ito lang naman yung mahirap na part dun sa ating uh, question. Okay? So, may susulat natin to as 14 and 4. Uh, 4 uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. And then 3. Okay. Tapos, isulit lang natin yung 5 and 1 half. Minus 5 and 1 half. So, by doing that, directly, makikita mo na 14 minus 5, it is 9. So, it's either B or C. Diba? Tapos, saka mo gawin yung, uh, gawin mong similar fraction yung 4 thirds at saka 1 half. So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, alam natin ang LCD ng 2 and 3 ay 6. So in order for to do, uh, for you to do uh para maging paras yung dalawang fraction 6 divided by 3 is 2 2 times 4 is 8 So again 6 divided by 3 is 2 tapos 2 times 4 okay so let's add 2 times 4 i8 tapos here 6 divided by 2 is 3 so we're going to have a multiply uh, a factor of 3 3 times 1 is 3 okay tapos you mas madali niyo makikita na it's uh, 8 minus 3, 8 minus 3, I, ta -da, it is just 5. Okay? So you can have this kind of uh, solution or kung talagang hirap na hirap ka talaga, so you can have, uh, you can draw. Okay? So after arriving this, uh, here, on this second line, tapos hindi mo alam kung paano i-handle yung fraction, okay? So you can draw, uh, you know na, this is one third, right? Okay, so this uh, box, that box is one third. Tapos kapag gumawa ka ng apat na ganyan, okay, apat na ganyan, so that is one third, one third. So apat na ganyan, 
you'll be able to fill isang pool. Makakabuo kayo ng isang pool na lahat she need at saka isang ganito. So, yan sana hindi kayo mas nalito. <laughs> Kasi ang balak natin ay makapag-drawing tayo ng uh, mabawasan kasi natin yung same kasi yung isang pool na yun hinati lang sa gitna pero as you can see this part is not equal to this part kaya na dapat natin siyang uh, i-rename right okay. in order for us to rename that kailangan nating uh, umisip ng LCD yung LCD nga ng 2 and 3 ay 6 right so in order for us to make 3 into 6, kailangan natin hatiin ito sa dalawa. Okay? So, ngayon, magiging 6 na siya. Okay? So, we are just uh, particularly rewriting uh, this fraction. So, there. So, kung makikita nyo, buo ito, di ba? Buo, buo itong lahat ng ito. Okay? So, ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, that is 8. So, that's how you represent 8 over 6. Okay? So, ilan, ilan to? Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yun yung 8 over 6. Tapos, ima-minus natin yung how are we going to make 2? What are we going to multiply to 2 in order to make 6? So, in short, hahatiin natin to sa tatlo. Okay? Sana nakikita nyo. Okay? Hahatiin natin to sa tatlo para maging 6. Right? Tapos, by renaming this, magiging na itong 3 over 6. So, there. As you can see, this is the visual representation of your 8 over 6 minus 3 over 6. Okay? So, there are the, uh, those are the three ways in order for to do that. Okay? So, tapusin ko muna pala. Tapusin ko muna pala yung fra, uh, visual uh, representation. So, in short, tatanggalin ko ang tatlong uh, parts dito. So, I will erase. So, earlier, everything here is shaded. Everything here is shaded. So, in short, mawawala na yung dalawa dito. Okay? Tapos, tatanggalin na lang natin yung isang part dito. So, magiging lima na lang. Okay? So, magiging lima na lang dito. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So, that's why five over six yung sagot dito sa fractional part. Okay? So, hopefully, hindi kayo nalito sa aking mahabang way dun sa visual, dun sa... Okay, so, again, I'll try to summarize, okay? For number one, yung, yung una nating way, which is ito, yung process talaga, okay? If you are very good into process or kung nakikinig kayo sa teacher nyo na, oy kaya, kaya kong gawin yung long way, so, this is the solution for you. Kung gusto mo naman ng mas mabilis, Katulad ko, hindi hindi ako mag, shadow magaling into uh, using high values or uh, big figures. You can opt to have this kind of solution. Okay? Yung mga borrowing borrowing. Kung hirap ka naman sa sa fraction at mas magaling ka sa visual way, you can have this kind of solution. So it's a combination of yung may LCD LCD. So if you arrive on this second part, okay? And then try to understand the fractional part dito. And then, yung sagot, magiging visual lang. Okay? So, if you want me to present this uh, fractional uh, question to sa mga nahihirapan, uh, just uh, send me a message or put some comment uh, down below sa video na to and I will try my best to organize my solution dun sa mga noob sa fractions. Okay? So, it's okay to be noob in fractions. As long as you will try your best to answer the question properly. Okay? So, now, let's go to the second part. So, I think the explanation here would be uh, easier. Okay? So, I think I want you to stick dun sa sinasabi ko na uh, percent. Okay? So, you know na by checking the questions uh, and the answers, I mean, so, in ABCD, parang you are asked to convert the fraction into uh, this rate. Those are my percent. Okay? So, katulad nga na sinabi ko, in order for us to convert any fraction into percent, you have to think of some number, lalong-lalo na kung divisible naman siya ng uh, meron siyang factor or 
multiple siya. Mul- uh, 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 tama ba? I'm not really good in in uh, the technical terms. Pero what I mean is, if 100 is divide can be divided by uh, this value, then you can think of a number or a factor para magi 100 siya. Okay. So think of a number that could make 5 to 20 para maging per centum, per 100. So, I arrived into thinking na 20 because 5 times 20 is 100. And para hindi mabago ang fraction natin, the numerator should be the same also. So, 20 over 20. Okay? So, ang kailangan na lang natin gawin, okay, is to multiply the numerator by that factor, which is 20. So, 16 times 20. Okay? So, 20 times 16. So, ito na yung mismo talaga yung answer. 0 times 6 is just 0. 6 times 2 is just 12. And then copy 20 because it's just 1. 1 times 20. So 20 here. So 0, 2, and then 3. So ibig sabihin, 320. Kasi kapag multiply mo yung 16 by 20 at saka yung 5 by 20, you will arrive to 320 because 60 times 20 is 320 and 5 times 20 is 100. So ibig sabihin, per 100 na to, Per centum. So, this is 320%. Okay? So, malinaw na malinaw that D is the answer. And number three is, ito yung pinakamadali. So, all you need to do is to convert this into, uh, maybe you can convert this. Okay, so I'll maybe divide this into two ways. Okay? The first way, divide 23 by 4. By long division, you can arrive to something like this. We know na merong limang 4 sa 20. So that will be 20 and then 3. And then put some decimal point. Continue with the value. And then how many 4 are there in uh, 30? So you know na merong 7. Kasi 7 times 4 ay 28. Tapos magkakaroon kayo ng remainder na 2. Okay? And then further do it. So 20 divided by 4. There are 5 4s in 20 and then finish it off by 5 times 4 is to 20 so there is no remainder anymore so that is the long process or kung you don't like the you don't like this okay you don't like this way you can opt to think that how many fours are there in 23 hmm i think it's five so we are thinking of 20 then because 5 times 4 is 20 so 23 minus 20 is just three-fourths. And you know that three-fourths is 0.75. So it's 5.75. Right? So it, that's that's the easiest way, I think. Okay? So uh, wala na siguro akong further pang i-discuss regarding that unless ah, how about this? Convert this into ah, combination na pala yun. Uh, tama, combination na yun. So kapag yung Improper fraction, ginawa nating mixed number. Ito na rin yung kalalabasan. Okay? Tapos, yun nga. Okay? So, again, I will synthesize. I will summarize. The first part, you can directly divide. Okay? Kung pabibo ka. Or number, uh, kung number two naman, you can convert it into mixed number first and then try to uh, convert it to decimal right away. Okay? So, yun lang. Okay? So, kagaya nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, to end this video up. Okay? So, Always remember that you only have one to two minutes to answer any question in your UPCAT or your CET question. Okay, the faster it is, uh, the better. Okay, don't think of uh, long solutions. Okay, if you are doing it in long solutions, more likely nalito ka na or nakakatakot. Promise. So always uh, simply think of the correct solution. Okay, must in solution, the better. Okay? So, yun muna. That's the discussion of my three questions. Hopefully, this could help you in your pre preparation sa UPCAT. And I'll try my best to produce more videos like this. Okay? See you again to another episode. Bye-bye!